Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently I had uh, a viewer asked a question on one of our older videos, a video we did back in the spring. Uh, it's how to make a small cam sound like a big cam. So anyway, I couldn't, I couldn't really, he wanted to know what settings I used and I couldn't really remember. So I just told him that I would uh, make a video about it. So that's what I did today. I made a video on I'm going to show the, in the video, I'm going to show the steps in HP tuners that I use to, to get a little more aggressive sound out of the car. Uh, normally, I don't like to show what, what we do with HP tuners, not because I don't want to share. It's just that I'm definitely not qualified to show anybody how to tune a car. But uh, anyone who's interested in learning how to use HP tuners and you have a GM car, the place to go, in my opinion, now some might disagree, but in my opinion, Goat Rope Garage is one of the best ones that i found. So if you happen to be watching this channel and you, you see that we're using HP tuners a little, but we never show really what we're doing, like I say, it's because I'm not qualified to show anyone how to tune a car, but uh, Goat Rope Garage, in my opinion, is that's the place to go if you want to learn how to tune a, a GM car. But anyway, guys, I hope this video helps someone out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> show the changes I made to get the the idle to the the car to idle a little bit rougher and I have to record this on my my phone because uh, this laptop isn't powerful enough to run HP tuners and uh, screen recording software at the same time it's just a cheap laptop but anyway right now I got two two tunes loaded up I got the tune that I use in the car and then I got the tune that makes it idle a little bit rougher. Okay, so we'll open this up. And normally, you, you would just, when you open it up, it'll start here. So you want to go over to Spark. And then where it says Idle Adaptive Spark Control, the over speed, you just click on that. Now this here is my stock, or the tune that I use. Now what, what this means is, uh, if if the engine rpm is like right here it says 25 rpm higher than what it's supposed to be it'll pull 2.7 degrees of timing like over here say it ended up being 250 higher than what it's supposed to be it'll pull 12.6 degrees of timing so in order to make it the idle to chop even more this here's the one that i use to make it chop you see how the numbers are different they're, they're bigger numbers, like the stock one here is 12.6 degrees. So if it goes 250 RPM higher than it's supposed to, it'll pull 12.6 degrees. But to make it run even, make it run rougher, if it goes 250, it'll pull 25 degrees. Basically what it does, it gets the idle going up and down, up and down. That's where you get the chop. And when you check this here, this will show the difference. I got, it's going to pull more timing out. This, this is how much more timing it pulls. And I'm not explaining this very well. This is why I don't try to give you uh, HP tuner tutorials. But anyway, this is basically what you're doing. This here is my stock tune. And I've changed everything to a higher number. It'll pull more timing. So what, what will end up happening by pulling that much timing is it 
when it goes to drop down to where it's supposed to be, it'll actually overshoot, which causes that rough idle. So I made the change there, and then the underspeed. Now, this is the stock one. If it drops 200 RPM lower than what it's supposed to, it'll add 3.6 degrees. Well, in order to get it to be a rougher idle, these numbers are higher. So if it's 200 uh, RPM higher or lower than it's supposed to be, it'll add 10 degrees instead of before it was adding 3.6. And basically what that does, it makes it overshoot. So the, the computer is constantly changing the timing, and that's how you get that rough idle. So those are two of the settings that you, you can change. And, and you don't have to use the exact numbers that I use. You can go a little less or a little more. Basically, if, if this is something you're trying to do, get a rougher idle, you're going to have to, it's best to do a little at a time until you get it to where you want it to be. So anyway, those are the two major changes you have to make to get that that rougher idle and then one more is you go over here to idle uh, and your your tables where you set the idle this here is where I've got it set on the tune that I normally use when it's fully warmed up it uh, it'll idle in gear at 700 rpm and with the air conditioner on 725 RPM. Okay, we won't, we'll go with this one here, which is the same anyway. But this here's your normal operating temperature. So with uh, in gear with the AC off, it idles at 700. In gear with the AC on, 725. In park or neutral, it's 700 RPM. And in park or neutral with AC on, it's 725 RPM. That's where it, that's the idle. So what happens if you go below that, it'll, uh, it'll add timing. And if you go above that, it'll remove timing. And that's how you get that, that up and down RPM. That's where you get that chop from. So anyway, this is where I have set stock. And then for, to make it idle a little bit rougher, I drop those numbers. And now you can see now that that instead of 700 it's 650 and if you i could have dropped this even lower which would probably make it idle even rougher like i said this is something if you're interested in doing this you have to you have to just experiment with it till you get it where to where you want i just did this fairly quick because i don't i don't care about the rough idle then anyway, when i go in here this will show the differences see uh, basically what i did i took 50 rpm off across the board but anyway, that's the, I'm pretty sure that's the only changes you have to make. Or at least that's the changes that I made. Oh, and then one more here, enable RPM error. So, uh, my stock tune, it, uh, what's that say? Idle proportional, enable RPM delta. Proportional idle correction will be calculated and updated if RPM error is higher than this positive or negative so I think I dropped that number also now I raised it I raised 120 I think it might have been better if I dropped that more it might have idled even rougher I can't remember why I put that to 120 but anyway all these are the I'll, I'll start right back to the start again so basically what you want to do if you got your car all tuned the way you want but you're not happy with the idle you think it, you'd like it to idle rougher just go into Spark, you change the overspeed and the underspeed, and like I said, uh, there's my stock one, so what I did is I, I raised that, see, if it was 50 over, or, yeah, 50 over what it's supposed to be, it takes out 6 degrees timing, well, I changed that to 17, so basically what it does, it overshoots, it makes the it wants to go to 700 RPM, but by pulling that much timing out, it might drop all the way down to 600. So then it has to go in this other one. It ends up going to this one here, and, it, and then it overcorrects again. So your idle's constantly going up and down. That gives you that chop. And so those are the two major ones and the idle. You go into idle and your base idle. 
the lower you bring this down, the rougher it's gonna idle right here. But of course you can't get too low or it'll just gonna stall on you. But if you had like a stock cam, you could probably go fairly low. But one thing I did find out when you get real low, you also, it's not as loud, so you don't notice it as much. So you don't, you might not want to go down too far on this part. Anyway, I don't think I explained this real well, but that's why I don't do HP tuner uh, videos. So I'm just not qualified, but this here should uh, help someone out if, 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 a rougher idol is what they're after. Anyway, guys, uh, this video is probably way longer than I wanted it to be. But anyway, hope somebody gets something out of this and we'll catch you in the next one.